concerned right uh, now is rare earth. Yes. And I think we need to focus a bit on what you are trying to do to solve yeah. that problem. Yes. And right now, of course, only for Ola, but does this become something that, you know, we can do broader forward? Yeah. So tell us a bit yeah. about that. Yeah. So uh, I think the geo strategic uh, landscape, Tamanna, is increasingly getting more complicated. Yeah. And uh, I think there's broad consensus that the geostrategic landscape is only going to get more and more complicated over the next few years. True. As uh, countries now start looking out for themselves, globalization is going through a different phase now. So, and this is also coming at a place where in India's journey, we are looking towards a Vixit Bharat dream, like the Prime Minister has said, where we have to develop ourselves. Now, how do we choose to develop ourselves? It's a very conscious choice we have to make that we have to invest in technologies of the future so that we can control the uh, narratives of the future, the products of the future, supply chains of the future. Cell and this energy is one of them. Rare Earths is another one, and we can see how uh, our uh, neighbors are really uh, using it as leverage against us in a trade negotiation or whatever. The way forward for us is twofold, uh, Tamanna. We have to uh, partner with other countries. Uh, it's not as if only one country has the uh, source. We have to partner with other countries, like-minded countries in Southeast Asia, elsewhere, uh, Western part of the world. And there are also, we have to leapfrog technologies. So now, motors, electric motors, today use rare earths. But the whole world has moved to rare earth-free motors now, increasingly. Okay. The global OEMs, Western OEMs are increasingly testing uh, rare earth-free motors in their batteries. And Ola Electric is the first Indian company to do this. Our entire two-wheeler lineup will, uh, by next quarter, be rare earth-free. So, so uh, does it work the same way? Sorry, very Absolutely the same way. Because if there is an yeah. alternative, then why is everyone getting blackmailed <laughs> by one country that has all this? Because uh, it needs some technology development. <laughs> it's a next generation technology. It's like 3G, then 4G, then 5G. It's sequence the car. So it's rare earth. Hai. Then you can, can you get the same performance from a non-rare earth uh, magnet? Then from without a magnet itself, electromagnet. Ke you know, we've all studied physics in school. Electromagnets are magnets with electricity, just a copper wire with electricity. So increasingly motors can be without any magnet, it can be electromagnets only. So that's a direction of technology. It needs some level of technology development. We have done that because we've invested in technology for the last few years. Uh, Indian companies, other companies are behind on that curve, but other global companies are doing that. Many global EVs are actually without rare earth motors now, increasingly. Right? So our products will start coming in without rare earth uh, magnets next quarter. And we do hope the rest of the uh, Indian uh, industry catches up. So that's one way we can kind of uh, de-risk ourselves from the uh, supply chain issue.